Today, I'm going to show you how to connect Olama and LM Studio and create agents with them in AutoGen Studio. Let's see how it's done. All right, well, the first connection we're going to deal with is Olama. Now, just open up any project, and we first need to install AutoGen Studio. And you can use this command, pip install AutoGen Studio. Or if you already have installed and you maybe just need to upgrade, you just type in dash dash upgrade AutoGen Studio. Go ahead and hit enter and then let it upgrade. Once that's done, then we need to actually run AutoGen Studio. So you type in AutoGen Studio space UI space dash 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 port and then any port number you can use 8080 by default. Hit enter and then it will open up a serve a local server for you. So we'll just click this. All right, now that we have it open, the first thing we need to do is actually run Olama server. So in order to do that, you need to download Olama at olama.com or you can type in olama.ai and it just uh, forwards you to olama.com and there's a big download button in the center so just go ahead and click that download it install it and then just run it okay i'll have a couple links in the description on videos that i've already done about olama but once you download it and just run it for instance up here on my mac i have a little icon knowing that it's running now before we go back to autogen studio we actually have to download a model so i'm coming back to pycharm and in my terminal, you know, the first one is being used by AutoGen Studio. So I can click the plus button, open up a new terminal, and the command to download a model is called pull. So we'll type in Olama space pull. And now we need to give the name of the model. There is a list on their website of all the models they have. But for my machine, which isn't the best, I'm going to download the Phi model. So I'll just type in Phi. And then I'll show you it downloads. I already had it downloaded, so it's, it only took me a few seconds, but it might take you a little bit longer depending on the size of the model. Okay, now our setup is complete. We have started Olama. We have a local server running when you do that, and we downloaded a model. So now we need to go back to Autogen Studio and create a model for Autogen. So now back at Autogen Studio, go to the Build tab, and then go to Models. And then at the top right, we're gonna click New Model. Now it'll have something default on this first and on this first input, just erase that because this is going to be the model name. And what goes here is the name of the model that we just pulled or downloaded through Olama. So I use the file model, so I'll just type in Phi. That's it. For the API key, because we're using Olama, you just type in Olama. And then for the base URL, you'll just copy this. So it's localhost port 11434 slash v1. And this is the connection to the local Olama server. And you can test that this works by just clicking the test model button. And it may take, you know, more than a few seconds, but it should come back that it succeeded. And there we go. Model tested successfully. If you get that this failed, make sure you have this URL for Olama correctly. Maybe you may have the one for LM Studio. And make sure you typed in Olama for the API key, and then you have the correct name of your model. So we're going to choose Save. So now we have our five model. We're going to go to Agents. Click Create New Agent. I'll just call this Phi Assistant. All this stuff here is okay, but here for the model, we don't want to use uh, the GPT-4 preview. We want to add our new Phi model. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is create a workflow. So go to the workflow section. We're going to, at the top right, click New Workflow. We can name this Olama Workflow. Now, we already have the user proxy agent. You know, that's fine. So we don't need to do anything with that. But for the receiver, the primary assistant, we don't want to use that one. We want to use the Phi assistant. So one thing you have to do about this is you have to click on another one and then go back and click the new assistant. And then that allows it, that registers it to actually use the Phi assistant. So then we're going to come down here and click OK. Then you click OK again, and we have our workflow. So we create the model, then the agent for the model, and now we have a workflow. So we're going to go to the Playground tab. Under the sessions on the sidebar to the left, we're going to click new and we want to choose our Olama workflow. So click create and you can type a message here, ask it any question. We're just testing it, right? Or you can come down here, um, try out one of the example prompts here. So I just want to do the markdown. So once I did that, it says list out the top five rivers in Africa, their length and return as return back to us as a markdown table. OK, so it finished. It took uh, about three minutes. Um, and then it created this markdown table. Now, I don't know if this is actually correct. However, I, I, I don't I don't know. I'm not going to actually fact check this, but I just want the goal is that you were able to create a connection with Ulama, right? And we created the agent, the model and a simple workflow. Now let's move on to LM Studio. Now I do have other videos where I go maybe a little bit more in depth with LM Studio, but if you just go to lmstudio.ai 
and then there's three download links, one for depending on the machine you have, just click that and then just run the software. Now, once you have the software running, it'll be something like this. As of right now, the latest version is 0 0.2.22. So on the front page here, it has some of the new ones that it generally updates um, with the software. So here's Llama 3, the, the newer version, uh, eight, 8 billion parameter instruct. Here's stable code. Uh, here's, uh, here's Google's, here's Hermes 2, you know, and so forth. There's a bunch here, but you just go ahead and download one. So by clicking the download, or you can search for models up here and you can, uh, let's see, we can type in llama. And then once you type that in, it's going to give us a bunch. So go ahead and choose one of these. And once ever, whenever you click download at the bottom here, there will be a spot for downloads, right? You can see the ones that I've already downloaded. Then on the left hand side, there's uh, one of these uh, sidebar buttons called local server. Click that. And now at the top here, this is where we start our local server to connect our agent to. So you're going to, at the top, select the model to load, choose the model that you want. Again, I'm just going to use Phi2 just to show you the connection. So I'm going to load Phi2. It's going to take a second. And then it automatically starts the server. So if it doesn't start automatically for you, there, this will be green. The start server, it's a big green button. Just click it and then it'll start. A couple of the pieces of information that you'll need here is you can see this is the URL that we'll need to connect to LM Studio server. It's gonna be different than Olama's, it's not the same. And then we'll need the actual name of the model. Like with Olama, I used Phi, you're gonna need the exact name here, which if you scroll down uh, a little bit in this example, so for AI Assistant Python, you scroll down a little bit, here is the model. So you'll click, you'll just, I'm sorry, you won't click, but you'll copy paste this one. So the bloke slash Phi to GGUF. Okay, so here's where I left off. I'm gonna go to the build tab, go back to models, and now we need a new model. So at the top right, click new model. For the model name, this is gonna be what I just showed you in the software. So you'll just paste that here. So mine was the bloke Phi to GGUF. The API key is lm-studio, and you can confirm by clicking this lm-studio. And then for the base URL, if we come back to the software, again, like I mentioned, this is the base URL that we need. So we can just copy this, go back to Audience Studio and paste that here. And just test the model again to make sure that it's connecting to LM Studio server. And here it is, it connected successfully. If you get something, if you get a failure, make sure that you have the name of the model correct and you have the URL correct as well. Once you're done, hit save. Now we need to go to the agents tab on the sidebar on the left and create a new agent. So we'll create a new agent. We'll call this LM Studio underscore assistant. It does not like spaces, by the way. And then for the model, we're gonna get rid of this one and then add the the bloke phi to GGUF. This is the LM Studio model. That's the name of it. Okay. Then once you're done, click OK. Now we have the new one right here, LM Studio Assistant. Now go down to the workflow section. We're going to create a new workflow. So at the top right, click new workflow, and we can just, you know, name this LM, LM Studio Workflow. Again, the sender user proxy, that's fine. But for the receiver, we need to change that. We're not using the primary assistant. So click the drop down. Remember, just choose some other random assistant, click it again, and then choose the one that you want. It just, until that's fixed, that's what you need to do right now. Then click OK, click OK again. Now we're done. We can go to the playground and now we can create a new session. So click new over here on the left. We'll choose LM Studio Workflow, click create. And I just want to test that the connection is running properly. So I can just say something like, what is five squared? If I can spell it correctly, what is five squared? And then we can press enter. But I know that's actually connecting to LM Studio because it didn't fail yet. And also you can go back to the software and you can see that the last message, well, what is five squared? So uh, it got the message and it's trying to come up with a reply from the Phi2 model. And just so you know, with LM Studio and Autogen Studio, uh, you can see that the assistant only came back with five asterisks. I assume it was gonna say five times five equals 25. Uh, there is a bug with LM Studio where it only will give you the the two tokens as the completion, right? So this is this was going to be the completion here, the, which means the output from the model on that we downloaded on LM Studio. That's an issue right now. Now the connection works, right? We know that the connection works, but with with Autogen Studio, there's this problem that they're fixing. Um, right now, there's a workaround where you can go into their database and fix the fix the max tokens property, but 
I'm just gonna wait till that's, that's actually fixed so that we don't have to worry about this. However, the connection does work. If you were to use with Pi Autogen, there, they don't, there is no issue with uh, only getting two tokens back. Just so you're aware. Okay, thank you for watching. That is how you connect Olama and LM Studio to Autogen Studio. If you tried a month ago, things have changed, so it might be a little different. So this is the updated video. I have a Discord community in the description. You're more than welcome to join. We try and talk and discuss things Autogen or just AI related. There's also a newsletter that I have in the description, or if you sign up, you get a free newsletter every Sunday at noon. Here are some more videos on Autogen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.